You know it's your boy, Shane Harris, P.K.A. Chef Stano, in the kitchen. Welcome, 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 welcome. Thanks for being here. I truly, truly appreciate you guys. And this morning, I'm going to do some garlic shrimp with Jamaican fried dumpling. Take a look at the ingredients. All right. So right here you can see I have my gar my, my shrimp, I'm sorry, my shrimp. I have half cup of um, lemon juice, same with olive oil, olive oil, and garlic, a lot of garlic, oh my god, but hey, that's why it named garlic shrimp. Right here I have a um, mm, quarter to half cup of paprika, I have my crushed red pepper, pepper flakes. I have my scallion normally I would use parsley or cilantro to kind of you know give that garnish look that that you know that presentable presentable look at the end of the, the, the dish but it, sadly my parsley went bad <laughs> I'm sorry but yeah I replace it with scallion okay and right here i have a little twist to it i'm gonna add a little tip of jamaican overproof rum ray and nevio don't tell nobody you understand me it's your boy shane rs pka chef stano and over here as you see right here i have a small bowl with flour i have a little pinch of salt I have about um, a tablespoon of sugar. I like to make my fried dumpling. I like to add a little um, sugar to my fried dumpling. Yeah. And so I'm going to use the milk to knead the dough. Right here you see I have a spoon of, um, a teaspoon of baking powder. So this is going to go into this. Oh God, I don't want to fall. This is going to go into this. Yep. So... That's the mixture for making fried dumpling. You don't have to use the, the milk. You can use water. You don't have to put sugar in it. But you definitely have to put salt and baking powder when making fried dumpling. Alright. But first thing first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to knead this dough. And I'm going to take this um, shrimp out of the shell. As you can see. They are already deep, deep, deep bone, or what you call it. Take this, the black string out of it that make it rubbery and taste. Ah, you, you know what I mean. But yeah, I'm gonna deep, I'm gonna take this thing out the shelf. I'm gonna make my dough, and I'll catch you back in a minute. Voila, voila, woo, woo, bam, bam. Yeah, so I'm back, and one as you can see, I already. Remove the shells of the shrimp. I add a little black pepper, a little salt to it. My dough that I'm gonna make the fried dumpling is already kneaded. So let's start the process. First thing I'm gonna do is, you can see I have a skillet with some oil in it. So I'm gonna fry my dumpling now. So let me turn this on. I keep it on a medium heat. Yeah, so I don't want the oil to be too hot, you know, and as you see, this boy is like salt. He want to be in everything, but that's okay. You know, I started from a tender age, so he will start also from a tender age. So, yeah. Yeah, so now I'm going to make my fried dumpling. You want to take like a piece of the dough like this. You round it. You make a, a ball in it. And you just lap the middle where you fold. Put it in the pot. And that's it. Get a closer look. That's how it's gonna it's look. So you just pinch piece of the dough, you roll it up in a ball, you put it in the oil, and you left it let it fry. 
so I'll show you when I add everything in it you see I put all of my fried dumpling dough in the oil so you turn them you don't want to stay on one side and burn and you turn them beautiful right yeah yeah, this one was in first, so I gotta make sure I keep an eye on it so that it don't burn. Yep, so that's the way you make Jamaican fry dumpling. So I'm just gonna let that um, take your time and soak through when we get up this to get it prepared. Yeah, why I prepare the dumpling first is because I'm gonna use the same pot to do the garlic shrimp you know i'm just gonna have to take out some of the oil because you know this is too much oil but whenever you're frying dumpling you have to have in enough oil in it so it can soak through the dough you know beautiful right Woo, very beautiful so Once again, you know, it's your boy Shane Harris PKA Chef Stano in the kitchen. And just like, share, comment, you know. And if there's ever a dish that you want me to try, whether it's my culture, your culture, any culture, just hit me up in the comment section, you know. And if there's something, um, some Jamaican dish you want to know, you, 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 you heard about, you taste it, you like it, and you want to try it, just hit me up. And I'll give you um, a tutorial or, you know, just a walkthrough of how to get it done. You know, because like I said, it's each one teach one. Right? Definitely. So, see, my dumpling is getting golden brown. So, you know, that's, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Beautiful, right? Beauty, beautiful. Ooh, beautiful. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. It is so beautiful. So you see why the baking powder is a must in making fry dumpling or whatever when, when baker are baking bread they use that thing we call that thing. Um is it yeast? Yeast? What what that thing that swell the dough. So when, when making fried dumpling, baking powder. Is a must. Voila! Oh my God! You see that? Beautiful, right? Mm mm mm. Ooh. Jamaican fried dumpling. Okay, let's go over here and see what's going on. As you can see, I have my skillet back on the stove. Um, medium heat. So what I'm gonna prepare now is the um, the garlic shrimp. You know, that's a garlic garlic shrimp time now. So let's get this thing started. Okay, so I'm gonna add some of my crushed pepper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Saute that a little. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Then I'm gonna add my garlic. Yep. All of it, yeah. Saute your garlic for like um 50, 50 seconds, yeah. You saute that, yeah. Turn it down, yeah. yeah. You saute your garlic for like 50 seconds, uh, so you know, you don't have to do it that, that long, but I, I like to get that garlic salt sauteed, you know. Ooh, oh my god, if you could only smell. The flavor that is going on in here ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah so that is doing its thing mm -hmm. oh yep and then I'm gonna add my shrimp inside yep and then I'm gonna add my shrimp mm -hmm. yep Add my shrimp whenever you see your shrimp start to um, start getting making a round shape you know that 
you know it's ready you don't want to have your shrimp too long you know five to six minutes is good more than that you're gonna end up with a rubber rubbery shrimp like a chewing gum beautiful right beautiful so as you can see you can see the shrimp they uh, they are turning from that long shape into a circular shape a round shape and so you know so they are telling you that hey i'm about to ready i'm about to get ready so i'm about to get ready so you know you just have to make sure you keep an eye on your shrimp so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna add my paprika in mm -hmm. my paprika is already in yeah beautiful right mm -hmm. yeah. beautiful wow and then I'm gonna add my lemon juice if only you could smell the aroma that is kicking up here mm -mm -mm. Yeah. beautiful right mm -hmm. and, and with the um with the rum that i said i'm gonna put in it the the jra navy rum you can put whiskey in yours you can put any form you can put even tequila hey to my mexican padre <laughs> you can put um whiskey in it but me i'm just gonna add a little tip of jamaican white rum yeah you know yeah look at that look at that mm -mm -mm. beautiful right yep and it's ready like i said once you see your shrimp start to give that circle shape it's ready you know your shrimp is ready and let me put my my skeleton i wish i had um parcel but i don't so i'm just going to use what i have and that is it and that is it garlic shrimp oh my god if you can smell the combination of the lemon juice and the the, the rum oh my god this is beautiful beauty beautiful mm, 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 mm. you see beautiful right yep mm, mm, mm. beautiful beauty beautiful and once again thank you for being here like share comment you know subscribe if you haven't already tell a friend to tell a friend and just remember each one teach one you understand me so you know it's your boy shane aris pka chef stano in the kitchen you understand me and i'm going to do what i'm gonna have some lunch now i'm gonna have some lunch some fried dumpling and some garlic shrimp yeah bam look at that look at that Beautiful, right? Garlic shrimp and fry dumpling. Mm. Okay. Let's see what's going on. I taste this already, but I need to taste it again. Mmm. 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 Do you hear that crunch? Mmm. You can taste the. Uh, the milk you can taste everything you can taste the oh, mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm.
and dip it in the sauce. Mm -hmm. Sauce, sauce. Oh my god! Oh my god! Mm. Oh! 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 Mm. Mm. You see this? You see this? It's your boy, Shane Harris, speaker, a Chef Stano, in the kitchen. And now we reach the end of this video. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Each one, teach one. I'm out.